Hello Raccoon City survivors, it's Leo K, and I'm here to talk to you about the knife in Resident Evil 3 Remake. The knife is a main weapon. It consumes one of your four weapon shortcuts in order to equip. Selecting it and holding the aim button like you would with a firearm will ready the blade for attacking. Pressing the attack button will stab with it. This is not a slash like in RE2, but it does pierce through multiple hitboxes during the animation if you line them up behind each other just right. The knife is infinite, it does not have a durability meter attached to it, and that means it's no longer a disposable resource. It's a permanent weapon that Jill will carry with her. It can, however, be stored in an item box just in case you need a bit more space in your inventory. The knife being infinite means that if you're feeling unsure of a fallen zombie, you can use it to confirm kills without worrying about wasting anything but time. Stabbing neutrally, without any movement input, will have Jill lunge forward a little before returning to her position. If you want to remain absolutely stationary, you can do that by stabbing during a sideways or forward input. So that means briefly move sideways or forward and then stab. She'll stand totally still during the animation. Now the knife has a, a bit of a special move. Holding back on movement and then quickly stabbing will cause Jill to stab with the blade differently while also stepping backwards. This is useful for spacing out enemies or checking a corpse you're unsure of while staying safe in case it decides to lunge at you for your curiosity. The backstep stab will also cancel zombie grab lunges if timed correctly. This essentially works like a parry and can help you avoid damage if you already have the knife out, acting as a slightly easier alternative to a perfect dodge. Other directional inputs before or during a knife attack don't really seem to give any special properties other than letting you stand still because of the nature of how movement works. Now, some people have trouble getting the backstep stab out and putting it on the screen. The only advice I would really have for that is it needs a discrete back movement and then knife stab input every single time. So if you start holding back and then press stab, you know, you'll get the animation out, but then if you keep holding back and then keep trying to press stab again, you'll just move backward while doing a normal knife attack. So instead you need to let go of your backward movement and then do the whole input again. And that way you'll get it out every single time. Now, countering with the knife after a perfect dodge causes a unique counterattack, an upward slash that deals immense damage. If you have trouble hitting perfect dodges, I have a tip for you as well. Keep your eyes on the zombie's chest, a lot of people in the player base have discovered this by now, so just look at their body and tap quick step before their body or before their chest collides with the drill. Don't worry about their growl or about their reaching hands, they don't have any hitboxes on them, only the central body of the zombie does. So definitely practice this a bunch with this knowledge, and you'll get way better very quickly. Hope this was entertaining, hope it gave you some stuff to learn about, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.